already in school, how will they react when they learn that charges are being filed against these officers? I'm joined by someone who works a lot with kids, high school kids, kids in cities. Jay Morrison is a, the millennial leader of YMC, which is Young Minds Can. You have been here in Baltimore since Monday, yes. since this week became really something extraordinary here. How do you think the kids you've been working with, how do you think they will react when they learn that these officers are being charged? With, with things as serious as murder. Well, I think there's going to be cheers. There's going to be some uh, uh, relief. And what we are doing to organize that energy we know is coming, my big brother here in Baltimore is the unofficial mayor, Stokey, has organized a rally in Cloverdale Park to show support and show thanks to the prosecutor, to the attorney general, for stepping up to the plate and putting these, uh, putting the indictment out on these six police thugs. So the, these people who have been protesting, many of them who have been protesting over the last several days, in some ways against the system, today you want them to come out and protest or demonstrate in support of the system. Well, the support is not of the system, right? The system's still broken. The micro issue is that, yes, there was an indictment made, and we have one step towards justice for Freddie Gray and for his family and for the city of Baltimore. But the macro issue is the Freddie Grays, the Eric Garners, the Mike Browns, the Trayvon Martins, the Oscar Grants of the world, that there's still macro oppression by this government system towards African Americans in America. So that still has to be addressed. So, yes, we're excited. There's one small step towards justice, but let's... The new cycle will not die. I understand that black people are screaming out to our white brothers and sisters and Hispanic and everyone in between to global citizens. Help free us. Help end the oppression of African Americans in America. That happened for 450 years. So the process, though, at least here in Baltimore, in this case, you believe at this point is working. These officers have not been convicted. The president a right. short time ago said that they deserve due process. That's right. what our system calls for. What do you want to see in this case going forward? But I want to address that real quick. You say they deserve due process, and they do. As do the youth of Baltimore who were called thugs for rioting on Monday. None were convicted of anything, but everyone from Ray Lewis to the president all called them thugs. But I haven't heard anyone yet lash out the police officers who've been indicted now and call them thugs well, the for system, murder. I'm sorry, the system in this case has lashed out against them. The system has charged them with crimes that could convict right. at least one of them with 30 years in jail. That is how the system, in fact, lashes out, is it not? Yes. But that system has also failed us many, many times. And we're really quick to put our youth out there as bad examples and bad words. But we're, we're very slow to point fingers at bad policing and bad police. This time, though, as you say, you're going to be out there uh, in support of this decision. We appreciate the work you're doing with the young people here. We wish you luck in the Thank days. You. Young Thanks, Jen. Jay. Thanks, Jen. All right. Wolf? Well, all right, John, we're going to get back to you. I know you're going to get some more reaction. What's going on? Uh, we're also standing by for that news conference. The mayor, Stephanie Rawlings-Blake, uh, getting